one of the main part of a 2D platformer game is its character animations. Without this, everything will look boring in the game. Just think about Limbo. What if Limbo looks like a statue while going left and right? Pretty boring, right? So in this video, we're going to take a look at how these animations are made. I'm going to share some of the basics in rigging and how to switch between animations in a side-scroller game. We're going to turn this little guy into this. Okay, I'm not an expert, just a beginner, that's why he looks kinda handicapped. I made him in illustrator and I also made a background for him. Okay, first let's animate our guy. Before importing your character into Unity, make sure his parts you're gonna animate should be separated from one another. We will join them after the rigging is done. So let's create a Unity project and drag the character to the scene. First go to window, package manager and import 2D animation. Select your character and click on the sprite editor on the inspector window. Change the mode to skinning editor from sprite editor to add bones to the character. Click on the create bone and start adding bones. To add a bone use your left mouse button and after you have finished then use your right mouse button to stop. To make a bone as a child of a parent bone select parent bone and then there will be a transparent line visible while you move your mouse. Then create the child bone just like this. For example, I am making the top portion of the leg as parent bone and bottom part as its child. Once you are done, then click on the auto geometry button then it will create a mesh like structure on your character. Which means your bones are now attached to your character. Rotate each bones to make sure everything works perfectly. If it's not, then you can use this weight slider tool to adjust the weights of each bone. If you want to know more about changing weights, then I will leave a link to the documentation in the description below. For this character, this looks fine. I'm gonna leave it like this. Now select the character in the scene view and add a component called sprite skin. Then click on the create bones button. Now your character will show bones in the scene view and is ready for animating. First attach each separated parts to its right position. Sometimes some parts will be top of the other parts, like this. Here right arm is top of the eye. To fix this go to sprite editor and select skinning editor. Then select the bone in which you want to change the order. Now a window will pop up on the bottom. This depth value is controlling which sprite should be in front of other sprite. Type minus 1 for every sprite that should be beneath other sprites and 0 for sprites above them and 1 for sprites in front of the screen. I'm gonna type minus 1 here and hit apply. We'll be making 3 animations for this character, idle animation and left and right running animations. For that, make an animation controller and make 3 different animations for it. Add the animator component to the character and drag the animator controller to the slot. Select the animator controller then this type of green and red boxes will appear on the animator window. If you can't find the animator window then go to the window, animation and select animator. Any animation connected to the entry box will be played at starting of the scene by default. It will be activated when the game starts. Now we have to make transitions from each animations to the other. Like uh, when we hit the right arrow, the animation should change from idle to right running animation. When you release the button, it should go back to idle animation. Animations should change from right to left and vice versa as we press left and right arrows. So there should be transitions between them. So let's animate our characters. For that, select the character in the scene and activate the animation window. You can find it in the window, animation, then click animation. First we're going to make the idle animation. 
Each part should have a little movement and don't forget that starting keyframe should be exactly same as the ending keyframes. Animate other animations like this. Just make sure that the starting and ending keyframes are same. This will help you to create a nice looping animation. For animations to loop, select each animation and enable loop time. Next we need to trigger these animations while hitting buttons on keyboard. Idle animation will play continuously as the scene starts. We need two boolean values to trigger other animations. For that click on the plus button and select bool. I have created two bools left anim and right anim. Next click on the transition function and on the inspector you can add conditions. Set left anim to true in every transition coming into the left running animation and set to false in every transition going out of the animation. Same should be done in right running animation also. Now hit play and make sure everything works fine. Next we need to control these balls using a script. For that add a script to the main character and open in visual studio. First set a reference to the animator. Here I am calling it run anim. And in start function set the animator component to the variable using get component function. In update function, check whether the button is pressed or not using the get key function. If the right arrow is pressed then we need the right anim to be true and left anim to be false. And if the left arrow is pressed then we need left anim to be true and right anim to be false. If none of these buttons are pressed then left anim and right anim should be false. Which will turn the state to idle. Put that in the else statement. Now save everything and head back into Unity and hit play. Everything works fine. I added transform.translate function just to demonstrate how this works. It's not a good way to use translate function to move a character in a side scroller. But for the sake of this tutorial, it's fine. I added a background for our character so that it will have a platform to run. This is the final result. Thanks for holding to the last of this video, if you liked the video then hit the like button and subscribe for more videos about unity and game development. And thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.